Hey guys, it's Andrew from Iron Trap Garage, and today we got a pretty exciting video. So we pulled my Y block out from the back of the shop, and I've been reading up that there's a special bell housing that came on early truck Y blocks that mounts up to the 65 four speed trans out of a Galaxy, which is the trans that I have. So we're going to be finding out today if it's the one that's on my motor. And we're also going to pull off some of the junk, like the exhaust pieces and stuff like that, just to get the motor cleaned up. And he had a little mouse he was living in there at some point. Is he in there still? We Look at that. Like a full on mouse nest in there. It wouldn't surprise me, actually, because we did see a mouse running around the shop a couple times. <laughs> Well, go get your other trans and let's see if it uh, see if it fit. Ready? Speed. How do you like that? I mean, in a little Model T, your tail shift's going to be touching your rear, but hey, that means we will never have to balance a drive shaft in our whole entire life because <laughs> it'll have about a half a foot of drive shaft. Yeah. It's going to be. You do like the front engine dragsters, it'll just be connected to the rear. It's the going to be a slip yoke connected to another yeah. slip. We won't have to, it'll just be one. <laughs> yep, that's it. Yeah, tighten that down and then. We can, uh, I'd probably start taking some of the BS off of your engine probably next. I would have bet you hundreds of dollars that that wasn't going to do. No, I didn't think that was going to be. There. Yeah. I was like, the bell housing looks close, but like, I don't think it's the right one. But I think because he got this out of a truck. I looked at it, I'm like, as soon as I took it off, I could tell the side of the trans yeah. like had the same shape. And oh my oh my god, the right clutch? Like it's all like right. Well I think I think they said we need to mill the the clutch fork or something. Like there's something you have to do to make it like work just right, but some guy told me to do it for free if I sent it to him. Told me to mill it. Like there's something you have to mill. Oh really? Yeah, apparent just like a little it's like thirty thousandths just to make it work good. Hmm. And the dude told me to do it for free. I just yeah, have to look up what it is. We can probably do it here. Yeah, probably. I was just, he said it was something on like a mill, mill something. So I was like, he told me if I send it to him, he'd do it for free. So I was like, oh, if we can't do it, we'll figure out what it is, and I probably can do it. Yeah. Oh, broker. That's all right. We're gonna need something to get this out of here. Right? Mm. Whoopsies. Yeah, right. Got it? Well, here, hold on. Look, you got two there. So you have to take that one off. That was ground or something. Somebody just had that as a washer. Nice. Using a nut as a washer. Alright. Did you just throw that on the ground? Make sure you pick up your mess. What the heck? This one's the same way. Wow. Using a, using a nut as a washer. All right. Whatever works. Got some cobbled together clamps here. 
Let's pull in the uh, return spring. The return spring on the exhaust. Great. Okay. Whatever works. Put a washer caught a nut caught down there. Oh, did we not take that? You threaded that one on. Oh, hold on. Yeah. You thread it on to get this socket off. Yeah. There we go. Boom. Done. Crossover pipe off. One closer to a hot rod. One step closer to a hot rod. All right. I'm gonna pull those manifolds off next, or what do you want to do? Yeah. Try to get them knocked off. There's a little Eastwood stubby impact. Should be perfect. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Boom. Dang. Not bad. Run that all the way? I don't think this one's going to catch. Is the socket too thick? Yeah. Might need to go to a non-impact. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, why don't you get a... Uh... Is that a long one reach? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, you got it? Okay. I believe so. Just need your deep socket. Give it a try. There you go. Sweet. Hey guys, what metric sockets are good for? Got a 13 millimeter socket on this bolt because it was kind of rounded out and it was just spinning with the 916th. So we, that's what your metric sockets are for to save from cutting the bolt off. And we got it loose. Good. All right. So the chain's bolted up nice. Um, somebody was telling me at some point that you had to do work like mill or something on the clutch fork to get the clutch to engage and disengage correctly. I'm not sure if anybody out there is good with Y block stuff. I'd love to know because at some point I'm going to have to get that done. But everything went together nicely and it's good for mock up for now so we can put it in the car and I'm glad for progress. So thank you guys for watching and we'll have more soon.